For people and pet owners tonight, if you don't know what you're looking for, don't eat wild mushrooms. There's a kind of mushroom that's growing rapidly here in Northern California, and it's already proven deadly after a dog ate it and was made very ill. CBS 13's Mark Thompson is live at the Midtown Dog Park with more on this story. And Mark, I found a few of these mushrooms in my yard and dug them up quickly. Yeah, they pretty much grow all over the place. And a lot of the people here at the dog park that I spoke with, they had no idea about this particular type of mushroom. It's called a death cap, which pretty much tells you all that you need to know, except these particular mushrooms look just like any other type of edible mushroom. However, if your pet eats this mushroom, it could kill them. They run, jump, sniff, and play, and just like small children, dogs love putting things in their mouths. But health officials warn if you see these mushrooms, Amanita phylloides, also known as death caps, don't let them eat, as they're deadly to both people and pets. In people, if you get an uh, intoxication of this mushroom, um, if they don't get you early enough, you get a liver transplant. And then we don't do liver transplants in animals, and so if we don't get them early enough, it, it is a fatal intoxication. On Monday, this eight week old Alaskan husky named Griffin was rushed to the UC Davis Veterinary Hospital after eating the mushrooms growing in the owner's yard in Loomis. The death caps so toxic that Griffin's liver failed, and despite a blood plasma replacement, the puppy died just two days later. What do you think when you hear information like this? I'm really scary. I wouldn't let my dog near any mushroom now just because I can't tell the difference between what's good and what's bad. And that's the problem. It looks incredibly similar to edible mushrooms. So if you're unsure, keep clear. It's pretty scary, although anytime we go out on a walk, I try to keep a close eye on her and make sure she doesn't wander too far away. <laughs> and remember, it's not just your pets that are at risk. If that was a child or if you picked that mushroom and ate it by mistake, you know, it would have the same consequences for a person. In fact, health officials say 14 people here in Northern California were poisoned from this particular mushroom last year. Now, symptoms are nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting. And health officials say if you see or notice any of these symptoms, get to your veterinarian uh, very quickly because treatment for these mushrooms and being poisoned from these mushrooms is time sensitive. Back to you. Very scary. It's good advice, as always. Mark, thanks so much.